up, Pokey fans? How's it? Yeah, he's all right. Um, you've probably seen the, the thumbnail, the top of this video. We're going to take a look at my favorite starters of all time. Now, it is the most important decision in any Pokemon trainer's life. Period. When you start a new game, it is the most important decision of all time. That is, which starter do you go for? It defines your whole team. It chooses which route you're going to go. If you choose the water, you need to go find a good fire, whatever. You choose grass, you need to go for a good water. But you know what I mean? It is the most important decision in Pokemon of all time. Be warned, this, this, um, this list is very heavily grass typed, okay? Love the grass starters with Bobby. Bob, so. Um, love the grass starters. And we've had loads of videos go up today. I'm not sure which order it's, it's all going to go in. If you haven't already, check out my Wonder Woman review. Uh, check out the Wonder Woman midnight release of Lonk or whatever. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's Nightmare Hill. Let's talk about Pokemon and my favourite starters of all time. Originally, I was going to do this list as in like, do each generation and choose like, in the order in like, Kanto, Generation 1, who's my favourite, second favourite. But, but no, I'm just going to do my 10 favourite starters from whatever. But yeah, let's kick things off with number 10. As you would, you're not going to kick things off with number 4 and then you... <laughs> From the Kalos region, the Frog Water Pokemon, a uh, Faroki. And I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to all of these Pokemon. I'm not going to talk about like their full evolution line. Just the basic stage, the normal start off. Uh, but yeah, Froki, I absolutely love. You know, meets Ash. He thinks, all oh, right, he's the trainer to get me strong. Um, love getting his little cotton out. Where is it? No, it's not cotton. You know, his thing around. His, what is that called again? I can't remember. Great start. No, um, I thought the Kalos starters were, were pretty strong. Fen Fennekin wasn't the best. Love the look of Chespin. Froakie's awesome. But no, Froakie's a nice, good, good starter. We've got another water, and that is Totodile. I can't quite do his impression. I want to do it, but it'll be cringy as fuck it. But it's like, um, it's like, yeah. I would. I wish I didn't do that. No, a, a, a crocodile. Oh, oh. Crocodile alligator. What? Crocodile. You know. Yes, it was a crocodile. He's really cool. Uh, the way he goes around is all excited. I like that Ash um, catches him in the ball that um, Kurt makes him, which is pretty gnarly. Um, no, the Johto starters were all really, really strong, and they are all in this list as well. But Totodile was just super duper cool. The little fire monkey, Chimchar. You, if you have semi saddest moments of Pokemon, he was in it. Uh, I won't tell you where, because I want you to go watch that and leave a like on it and subscribe. Um, but Chimchar, I just, the way that his character, whatever, he was involved in Ash's journey and stuff and what Ash did, did for him all the way to the end because he got banned by Paul and stuff. Ah, it's just amazing. And he's really cool. I, I like using Chimchar, well, towards the end in Fernate, but I don't want to talk about the later stages of Evolution Lines. But, you know, Chimchar is really awesome. Turtwig. Now, he's only beat Chimchar because he's grass type, and I love grass types. Um... But same again with Chimchar. He didn't, um, obviously Ash caught him. He didn't, I don't think he had more of an impactful role. He did, because Ash's, you know, Torterra was pretty awesome. He was in some awesome battles. But I don't know, I think the story was a bit deeper with Chimchar because of everything I've just said. But Turtwig's just beaten because he's grass type, so I'm completely biased. So sorry, Chimchar. But no, Turtwig is an awesome design, awesome Pokemon. Love the dude. Mudkip. Now, I love Mudkip. Awesome Pokemon. But I like him even more because Brock got him and I just, every time I seen Brock with Mudkip, it made us laugh and I have no idea why. I used to be like, oh, he's a, he's a rock guy, but he's got a water. <laughs> it's the most stupid reason ever. I, I do like Mudkip, just as a Pokemon. For some reason, I associate him with Brock always and just the I, why did I find that so funny? I don't know. Mudkip's on the list for the weirdest reason ever. Cinderquill. I oh, Cinderquill, the little eyes and oh, I'm so bad at impressions. Uh, no, Cinderquill's such a great Pokemon. Uh, from them to obviously they left Kanto, they did the second generation. Have he is not as popular as Charmander, but to have a second fire type that's probably the most popular. Starter again. They're really good at doing their fire types on average uh, Pokemon. Apart from when they keep making them all firefighting. 
but yeah, Syndical hit it off really well. A lot of people enjoy him. It was great getting him in Pokemon Go and seeing him and stuff. I've just recently started training up a Typhlosion. I know we should be talking about these because we're talking about Syndical or whatever for competitive. So I want to see how he does. But no, Syndical is really awesome. Trico. <sighs> I, one of the, one of Ash's starters that's had a huge, huge role, and uh, again, I've just said I know I don't want to, but Sceptile is one of Ash's strongest Pokemon. He's so good. But anyway, yeah, whatever. Um, Trico, the little with Ash's one's got a little twig in that. It, you just see a lot more because a lot of the Pokemon Ash and stuff gets you see in the TV show. They're just sort of there, but Trico, you feel like there's a real personality in that behind there, and the way he's put into episodes and stuff. Plus, the best Hoenn starter by far. He's such a cool Pokemon. Love training him up. Looks good. Great design. Um, yeah, Trico. So I'll say it again because I say it every time. He's awesome. <laughs> top three. Well, no, not the top one. The top two have switched multiple times, but I've, I'm going to stick with it. It's going to be on record on video. Number three is Chikorita. <sighs> I, I I don't know what it is. I see Chikorita and I friggin' love it. Just a little leaf on it. I, what it is with grass types, they just stand out so much to me compared to any other types, apart from maybe flying. It's just so cool. But I like Chikorita. Uh, I like the face was just sort of there with his big eyes. Yeah, it was really cute. I feel weird for saying that. Uh, yeah, Chikorita, get off next. Number two. Yep, he just pummeled his way through this list, nearly making number one, but didn't. Uh, and that's Rowlet. Uh, introduced in the newest generation, um, in the Alola region. Ah, <sighs> Rowlet, ow! A grass flying, my two favourite types, as you start up. <sighs> the typing completely went messed up, I didn't see that coming towards the, the latter end, and I've done it again, I said I'm not going to talk about the end stages. Rowlet, um, in battle, turn his head round to you, little bow tie going on. Definitely, I think, the most popular starter out of the um, Alola starters. I was so happy when they revealed him as the starter for seventh generation. Well, the grass, grass starter. Ah, he's such a badass Pokemon. Oh, I love Rowlet. But yeah, he's number two. And number one is probably the most obvious one now. <coughs> Mr. Obvious, Bulbasaur. Yep. Out of everything I've said about the Pokemon having different personalities and characters throughout the show, the anime and all that, Bulbasaur for me has one of the biggest characters like as one of Ash's Pokemon because he's like very loyal, refusing not to evolve into an Ivysaur because he can really, if he can be strong enough as a Bulbasaur. Um, he's Ash's like bodyguard um, when he's like def uh, splitting up fights between the po Ash's Pokemon at Professor Oak's lab. Him and his involvement with Heracross, obviously my two favourite Pokemon. Uh, yeah, sorry, they're both in my top three favourite Pokemon. Um, uh, where Heracross is trying to get all the sap out of his bulb. He's just a really cool Pokemon. He seems so loyal. Um, he's great. I, I think he's quite powerful for a starter. Well, reasonably powerful. He's really helpful when you start off in Kanto. Obviously, go over against Rocky and Water. Um, uh, the, the other two get stronger towards the end, but Venus will, sorry, Bulbs will stick out, would you? But yeah, he's amazing. He's my favourite starter of all time. And that was the list. Uh, itchy moustache there. That was the list. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know in the comments below if you think all of my choices were crap. Wait, would that be enough? You'd Whatever, my maths is crap. I'm trying to work out if... I don't even know what I'm trying to work out there. What am I trying to say? I don't know. Shut up. End the video down. Hope you guys enjoyed this edition of Pokemon Thursday. Next week, we'll be back on Thursday with some more Pokemon goodness. And today, remember, check out Wonder Woman review and Wonder Woman Midnight Release vlog. Ah, that was really fun. The shirt's quite old, but, you know, I'm doing a video about starters. Choose a start. I don't even like Beatles, but whatever. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll be back. I've got something on my own. We'll be back for more Pokemon goodness next Thursday. A Bulbasaur out.